Well, welcome back. If you've ever wondered where comedian Jerry, or Jerry, how about Jeremy Hot stands on the dog versus cat debate, well, take a listen. Not a big cat guy. I don't like them. They're not dogs. They're not constant companions. They don't even live in your house. They choose to live in the vicinity of your area with their standoffish behavior. Ever call a cat? Oh, yeah, they're right on it. <laughs> All right, so Jeremy may use the debate as fodder for his stand-up, but in real life, dogs are less of a punchline and more of a lifeline. After he was diagnosed with a generalized anxiety disorder, a little dog named Shackleton became a huge part of his life, a few furry pounds offering up emotional support. We welcome both Jeremy and Shackleton into our studios this morning. Look at those professional shots. Did you take those, Jeremy? I took those. Look at you. Yeah. Professional. I iPhone genius. I iPhone genius. Yeah. So is this little guy. Sh this I got to ask you where the name Shackleton came from. Uh, when he was really young, before he could see, and he was like this big, uh, he, uh, out of the litter, he crawled out of the box and uh, started like exploring. So Aww. the name Shackleton came from that. Very, very cute. Yeah. Well, good to have both of you here. All right, let's talk about generalized anxiety disorder. Yeah, that when stinks. The, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, tell me about that experience. For you. When did you realize that was happening? Uh, well, I knew there was something wrong, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, after years of, of them, you know, when I, when I was a kid, they sent me to a psychologist. And this was this diagnosis. Uh, uh, after uh, two weeks seeing the psychologist, he said, uh, I was eating too much ketchup. Really? Yes. Really? Yeah. That's what he told your parents? That's what he told my parents. So I, I, I didn't get to eat ketchup for about a month, and then my parents went, wait a minute, we think this guy's a bit of a hack, and then I got ketchup again. Oh, yeah, yeah. because that's a big loss. Yeah, but it was at the time. You're a kid, right? That's, yeah. So, you know, I, I wasn't very good at school or mm -hmm. anything like that, and, and just I was different and, and, and everything. And then uh, I became a stand-up, and then I had this incredible fear. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you about that because if people ask me the job that I'd probably want least in terms of fear factor, it's um, air traffic controller mm -hmm. and comedian, and you are the latter. So you get up on stage, you've got this disor disorder. Yeah. How do you sort of uh, reconcile the two? Well, we're, you know, that seems to be the big question. Like, how come when yeah. I get on stage, it completely goes away? And they believe it's a adrenaline, but no one has given me the real answer to that. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, for some reason, I feel more comfortable. Uh, on on stage in front of thousands of people than alone in a room with a woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, speaking of, you're not alone now. You've got Shaq. I got so, Shaq. So let's talk. Do you call him Shaq? Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Little guy named Shaq. Little guy named Shaq. Okay. So let's talk about uh, his role. How does he help you? Sh well, when you uh, as apparently when you, when you this is what it was. Uh, apparently, when you pick him up, you're supposed to, you know, hold him, and then it's supposed to take your anxiety away. But when you pick him up, a lot of times he shakes. So I have an anxiety dog that has anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like you're comforting him a lot of the time? A lot of the time, yeah, but, I really do. But in turn, does that comfort you? I mean, at the end of the day. I guess so. It gives you, you know, what it, when you have uh, 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 generalized anxieties, like a lot of times, like leaving the house and stuff like that, you won't do it. But when he comes and paws and goes, "Get me out of here," you got to take. Right? right so it gives you something to do okay why is it so important for you to talk about this um uh, uh, awareness and that's the thing i mean we live uh, well canada is a country with socialized medicine and and, and health care and yet uh, a lot of people can't afford the 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 proper you know help um uh, uh, you know psychiatric help and it's not covered and it should be covered. It should be, you know, people that don't have the means to be looked after should have them. It should be accepted as a as a legitimate medical disorder. And what has the Burrett response been since you've been talking about it with people? A lot. You know, yeah. I mean, it's also therapy for yourself. I mean, to not keep something bottled up inside is the most important thing, right? To tell people about it and to make, uh, you know, make people aware of, of your situation. Plus, you know, I'm a comic, so really good comics talk about what's really going on in their life, mm -hmm. I talk about the dog, and I talk about my problems on stage. You talk about anxiety. Oh, stage. yeah, and then in the autograph line afterwards, people come up and go, I have this, I have that, I have this, and then I turn into a bit of a psychiatrist. Yeah, I bet. You know, that's so interesting yeah. because you've got a lot of people, I, well, I've found that, you know, when you watch comedy, it's a lot of misery. Like, the baseline, the content yeah. is based in a lot of misery, and then mm -hmm. you get the punchline out of that, right? Right, right. Is that how it works in your life? Well, for sure. My whole yeah. thing is I'm miserable, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not an act. <laughs> All right, now you live, you're Canadian living in the U.S. Yes. It's an interesting time. Yeah, it stinks. It I mean, stinks? You know, speaking of miserable time to live, yeah. you know, I just wake up, although it's good for comedy because I just wake up, I look at the news and go, oh, what did he do today? Well, there's and lots of material the from yesterday. I yeah, respect. I know, right?
And that's not the worst of it, you realize, right? Do you even have to write anything? I, th no. I feel like he's writing it for you yeah. almost, right? Yeah. Yeah, and are you using a lot of Trump Absolutely. stuff? Absolutely. Of yeah. course I use Trump stuff. It, it, Wouldn't it, you? He looks like Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> Come on. It's easy. He's kind of an easy target. Yeah. He created that for himself, didn't he? Yeah. Well, we appreciate you both being here. Shackleton, hey, high five. Who's that? Low five. Hey, Good I'm boy. So, he actually shook my hand. Well, he did this when I came in. I shook your hand. Yeah. And he took my hand and did a double paw. So I guess no, he was the, pushing he did, you away. Oh, from he's him. like, get away. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah. like, who Sorry. is this lady? Get her away. <laughs> well, listen, I'm going to get away from you right now so that you can have some quality time with Jeremy. We appreciate you being here, Thanks spending for your quality me. time with us. Thanks so much.